Hello everyone and welcome back to IMO Reviews. I also caught up with the latest movie on Netflix, Scoop, covering the Prince Andrew interview. I found this movie to be pretty straightforward and cookie cutter at times. It absolutely does its job. The performances have quite a varying range between them. There are some performances here where they feel like they are going above and beyond and really delivering that role. And then there's others like Billy Piper where they just feel like they're Billy Piper. And she's not the only one. The guy who plays Prince Andrew is absolutely over-relying on the prosthetics that he's wearing. He doesn't change his voice or anything like that. And it really doesn't feel like he's gone above and beyond to really capture the guy. And as I speak about those prosthetics, they are very good. Sometimes when the camera gets a bit too close to them or gets them at a funny side angle, you can't help but notice how rubbery they are, but they're very good. And the same must be said about the set design and the costume as well. They were very good at the reenactment of the interview down to the slightest cough or laugh that Prince Andrew might have had in the interview. But I have a real issue with the perspective that the movie approaches the subject from. Because it is coming from the story of Newsnight and that specific interview, it is far more interested in the BBC side of things and the interview itself than the actual horror and catastrophe that was uncovered. Towards the end, they even have this very pukey, toe-curling, praise the BBC, thank God for Newsnight speech, and it is absolutely horrendous to sit through. If the camera panned any further to the left during that speech, you'd have seen a Jimmy Savile-sized elephant in the room. It doesn't really seem to care about the victims, and it doesn't really seem to care about the aftermath either. In a very typical journalistic fashion, it feels kind of exploitive. So I'm gonna give Scoop a five out of 10. It's fine enough, and if you are interested on the subject, with it being on Netflix and you not have to leave the comfort of your own home, it's only an hour and 40 minutes long, it's reasonably well paced, so it's worth checking out in that regard, but it's nothing spectacular. Thanks for watching this review, please be sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and please do hit the comment section as well. Have you seen Scoop? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, if you haven't had enough of this crazy ginger, we well can always click on these suggested videos right here and get yourself lost in an IMO wormhole. But if not, take care, and I look forward to seeing you on the next review.